got so much stuff to talk about this morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's like our first big Zoom since announcements. Oh my gosh, you guys. Crazy. Crazy. I got to tell you, like literally in 10 years doing this industry, I've never seen bonuses ever this big. I've never heard of bonuses ever this big. I've never seen them in any other company this big. Um, it, it, like we are team no sleep. We are team no sleep. We're going to dive right in. If you guys are joining us um, for the first time in the morning, we do these Zooms every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning. And um, we love our morning show. It's fun. It gets our day started right. And if you're joining us for the first time, um, this is the part in our morning where we do gratitude. So if you guys have your gratitude journal, pull it out right now or grab a pen and a piece of paper um, and you can do it right along with us. You don't have to have a fancy journal to do your gratitude every morning. Um, these actually, if you guys um, are just joining us on the morning show, we actually have giveaways. Um, so if you're chosen for a giveaway, you can actually choose a gratitude journal as one of your prizes. And um, I'm going to show you guys the other prizes that came in too, so you guys can take a look at the other choices. Um, but I think like there's so much, obviously, to be grateful for, especially with what Lavelle just announced and um, I'm just so grateful right now looking towards the future. <laughs> I'm so grateful for the opportunity that um, Lavelle has given us to help not just change our lives, but so many other people's lives on our team. It's just so exciting. Um, so it's going to be so cool doing gratitude today. And if you guys are new to gratitude, um, you know, what I want you to do is just grab a pen, piece of paper and write down five to seven things over the last 24 to 48 hours. Um, something this weekend, you know, dig deep. They don't have to be the same things every, you know, we know you're grateful for the food on your table and your children, like dig deep, you know, what are some things that you're super grateful for? Um, and keep track of those because it's super hard to start your day out really bad and have the rest of your day go horribly when you started off with gratitude. Um, and in this little journal, one of the things it does for morning is it says today's focus. So what is your focus for today? Write that down too. Um, what's your main goal, your main focus? What's the main thing you want to accomplish today? And then the next thing it has down is an affirmation for today. So write an affirmation down for yourself today. Mine is going to be, I am a rock star recruiter because I am planning on bringing in some new people. I am a rock star recruiter. Um, so write down one affirmation or a couple, even even better, write down a couple. And then um, the five to seven things that you're grateful for. And then it also says, what am I excited about today? Um, and then it also says, how am I going to make space for, for being grateful today? How am I going to make time and space to be grateful today? Um, and then tonight before you go to bed, an evening reflection because again, the way you start your day, the way you end your day, two most important things you can do. And in the evening reflection, you're gonna um, write the good things that happened that day. So whatever happens today, tonight, write down all those good things that happened for you today. And sometimes our days don't go that great, right? Sometimes we have bad days, we're humans. Um, and you may have to dig again at nighttime, but you can always find something amazing that happened to you um, even on the worst days, you can dig deep and find something that you are grateful for. Um, and then it also says things I did to make a positive difference today, positive difference in your life, in the life of other people, um, in the life of your team, in the life of your family, friends, um, and then how you felt that day, any notes you want to take, and then a positive thought to carry you to sleep, um, which is one of my favorite things because it get your mind thinking about something other than the troubles <laughs> of all the things going on, right? Um, going to bed with that like thought of something good on your mind instead of something negative. And if you guys want to share, hopefully while I've been talking, you've been writing down those five to seven things that you're grateful for today. If you guys want to share um, what you're grateful for, one of those things in the comments and the chat, I would love to see it. I love seeing all the things that are going on 
um, in your lives and, and the things that you're grateful for. Um, and I am, I, I mean, we're not going to waste any time today. We're going to dive right in to, um, you know, the elephant in the room, which is bonuses, um, what's happening with those. And we're going to get some tips from um, my awesome co-hosts today, because I think right now that's what y'all need is your best plan of attack, your best, best plan of action. And um, then we're going to get into our self-development topic after that. But I, you know, I was thinking about these bonuses and the different things that I'm doing to attack them. And personally, when stuff like this comes out, I think it really shows you what you're capable of doing. You're capable of doing things that you never thought you were capable of doing. Like some of you guys, it's so crazy. I started push groups um, for my personal team. And if you guys have, you know, there's a lot of people on here that aren't under me. Um, you, you guys push groups are awesome. I'm kind of getting people all in gathered together that have a commonality, the same goal of whatever rank they're shooting for, whatever bonus they're shooting for. And um, it's crazy because I asked them to um, make me a six list and tell me what, what, like circle the one thing. I want you to put one thing on your six list. In, and if you guys don't know what a six list is, it's basically every night before you go to bed, you write down six things that are income producing that you are gonna do the next day for your business. And I said, I want you to make one of those things something you're deathly scared of or something you don't like to do or you don't normally do and circle it for me. I kind of wanted to see where everybody was at. And above all else, above everything, the thing on everybody's list, not everybody's, but the majority was going live um, and how that is difficult for people. And I'll tell you what. I think it's times like these when bonuses like this are announced and you really see how your life could change. It's what pushes you out of your comfort zone and into that fear zone of doing some things you're scared to do, but you do it anyways. And you prove to yourself you can do it anyways. And lives are absolutely where it's at. But the other thing that was really eye-opening to me was how many people don't really know what income producing activities are. Um, I was reading through everybody's list and so many people had things on their list that were not income producing. Um, and I, how many of you guys in the chat, just out of curiosity, like you don't know, you're not quite sure what is an income producing activity? Um, what should you be doing to grow your business? And here's the thing guys is we get caught up in like the morning Zoom, right? The morning Zoom is awesome. You get up, you set your alarm, you're on it. That is awesome to start your day that way. You're going to grab a bunch of tips. You're going to get motivated, inspired, hopefully. But the thing is, is that watching this Zoom does not create income for you, right? So if that's on one of your six things, that's not an income producing activity. That, that's something you should do absolutely so that you can grow and learn and get the tips that you need to grow your business. However, just watching this Zoom is not gonna create the income and, and it's not gonna make you run and go get one of those bonuses. What it will do though, is give you ideas that you can implement that are income producing activities into your business. And so the goal is, is when you get on any Zoom, if you watch any video at all, Make sure that you guys are taking notes and, and going, okay, these are what they're telling me to do. This is what I need to put on my list of income producing activities. So make sure you guys do know what those are because we can fall super easy. The one thing we don't want to do during the next four months while we're running for these bonuses is we do not want to fall into a, a trap of not doing things to grow our business. And you know, over and over again, I say this all the stinking time and I, I clean, the, clean the cobwebs out your ears, <laughs> grab a, grab whatever you got to do, clean it out good. Because here's the deal, guys. You don't have to know all the things. If you're brand new with us and you're checking out the morning show and you're like, I'm new, I don't know what I'm doing. No, nobody on here did. Nobody on here did all the way up. Uh, we have Chas on with us today. Chas is our up, up line. And Chas um, has been with the company for like six years. Dude, she didn't know what she was doing when she started either. She had no clue. None of us did. But you know what we did have? We had excitement. And that excitement we shared with other people. And when we didn't know what we were doing, you know what we did? We got them in a three-way message or on a three-way call or in a three-way chat where we went to an upline and we said, here's the scenario 
what should I do next, right? We utilize the people that have already done it. So just know as a new person, you do not have to know what's happening. Um, you know, you don't have to know all the ins and outs. The only thing you need to know is that you are excited about the opportunity, the potential, the products. Um, even if you only tried the products for three days and you started, what did that do for you in three days, right? And as your story grows and develops, it, that's going to be awesome. You're sharing with people as it happens. Um, so just know that you don't have to know all the things and action right now is what's going to create movement in your business. And for a lot of you guys, it's the first time ever you're creating action. Um, you know, a lot of you guys have been sleeping. Let's be honest. Let's look in the mirror and like be real, real with ourselves. A lot of you guys have been taking a nap for the winter. You were like a bear, you were hibernating. And now all of a sudden these bonuses were announced and you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to do this thing. Well, here's the deal guys. You're just now getting consistent. So that consistency is going to take a little bit of time, but that's okay because we got four months, right? So get consistent now, um, be doing all the things and then watch for the things that we're putting out for you to succeed. I know on our team, we're doing every Tuesday night, we're doing a um, live event for your customer prospects. And every Wednesday night, we're doing a live event for your promoter prospects, literally. All you have to do is get people to those events. They're going to get third-party credibility. They're going to get somebody sharing, and then we're going to send them right back to you to get signed up. Um, how It doesn't make it any easier than that, right? So don't forget to utilize the things that are already out there. And right now, don't reinvent the wheel. That's the last thing I wanted to add, and then I'll pull Chas in. Don't reinvent the wheel because you don't have time right now to be learning new crap that you can't even utilize right this second you don't have time to like try to do it different no the way to do it is the way we teach it and keep it so simple because it's gonna stop you in your tracks and hold you back and it's not gonna let you go as fast as you could if you're trying to do it your way instead of the the, the thrive way the Lavelle way right the way it should be done um so take note of that and then make sure you're growing your network guys that's what this is about. Grow your network, share, thrive. Grow your network, share, thrive. Grow your That right there is going to grow your business all day, every day. Just doing those two things. If you knew nothing else, that's the secret. That's the key is growing your network every day, adding new people to social media, um, connecting with new people. Um, and, and I don't mean, you know, try thrive or have you heard of thrive? I'm talking about connecting with people on a level where you're building relationships, um, getting in Facebook groups or adding people while you're out and about, um, you know, the lady you met at the bank or the grocery store or wherever, but adding people in mass quantities right now and then building relationships is going to be the key to them seeing your posts and saying to you, what, what is this that you do? Or what are these bonuses you're talking about? Or what's that trip you're just going on? Or what's, that's where they're going to start asking those questions is when you build that relationship. Um, Chess, I wanted to bring you in. Actually, Jamie um, messaged me this morning and she's not going to be getting on. So, um, you know, the, we have we have plenty of people that will want to speak up anyways. And I know Brittany Hyder's on every morning, so I'm sure she'll have something she wants to um, add. But Chas, we'll start with you and then um, we can bring in Tiffany and Brittany. What what like, first of all, I know you, I know you're not sleeping either. <laughs> like, is anybody sleeping? Just be real. I'm not sleeping. Um, I'm, I'm not sleeping, but I am resting. resting. Someday. <laughs> rest is important, friends. I want y'all to know that. It is important to get rest. But um, yeah, I shared with you guys on Wednesday night. First of all, I just want to say I'm so grateful for this, this morning thing. And um, I know um, Lisa's topic today was, you know, how do you keep yourself motivated? I, you know, motivation, I, I don't, sometimes I don't like the cliche little sayings, but motivation is really kind of like showering and brushing your teeth. You got to do it every dang day. And for me, when I was thinking this morning about her topic, I'm like, how do you stay motivated? I immediately thought of like Danny. I thought of Brittany. You sign up for stuff like you sign up. So, you know, Danny and Brittany, they're always like our, our they always hit record or they're always doing a thing. Well, for me, 
um, when I saw Lisa comment or Lisa posted, she said, Hey, I need one more person for my morning thing. I'm like me now. What if it was Wednesday, I might not have been so eager or if it had been Friday. Now, why do I say that? Because I know that Mondays are usually like a slug day for me. Um, it's kind of my, kind of my little bit chill day. It's not my day where I'm just like, boom, 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 boom. So I knew signing up, I would have to get up. And I'm telling you, once I get those capsules in, the rest is history, right? So, I mean, it's a matter of the time that I roll over and reach. And I knew that I had to sign up. So, for example, she's saying, you know, they're doing a push group. Or um, I share all the time how the, during this time of the year, I sign up for runs. You know, we're excited. We're motivated right now. You know, I've got my operation winning board right here in my face. And as I'm sitting here, I'm thinking of my day and what I have going on. And, you know, I'm clearly focused right now. But the thing is, is that it didn't take me a week or, you know, five days to get back into that motivation and routine because I run on that. Is the business up and down? Heck yeah. It's always up and down, but I stay and in a state of consistency. Now you have to understand why you do what you do. It has to be more than just a bonus for you. For me, um, you know, uh, I don't, I don't have the opportunity that you guys have. I, I don't have, mine's very different. My focus and shift is, is really different. I shared with you guys that I intentionally folded this up because, you know, there's all of these goals on here, but I have to break it down in chunks. I have to go, this is, I'm focusing on my first three right now. Uh, don't tell me about numbers five through seven or eight through 10 let me focus on one through three right now. And that's where I'm at. That's where my goals are. My goal this by Monday morning was to send a message to my first level one and two of, hey, you know, I've got this, you know, I just want to make sure that you saw everything that dropped from LaBelle and, you know, I'm running anybody and everybody that reaches up. I mean, the, the truth of the matter for me is I'm working a lot with um, what I like to call warm blood, um, you know, people that have lost their way, have lost their upline, have, you know, lost, you know, those, those layers of leadership. I mean, that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now is that, you know, people are reaching up to me saying, how can I snag this bonus? What can I do? I think you're my, my level one now. Yes, you were level 27 and now you're level one. Welcome to compression in our comp plan. Um, so for me, it's just understanding where I'm at, um, comparison competing, not any of that going on, uh, just really focused in phase one. And that's where we have to be. Um, right now, I have two sticky notes, two sticky notes right here. Um, my first focus is I've got two new girls uh, on product samples. I, hey, girls, what's going on? How's it going? Happy Monday. Put those capsules in your body. So for me, um, you know, you don't stay motivated. We get motivated by these morning um, tribes. We get motivated by a bonus, but you've got to stay in that phase all the time. And I know that can be easier said than done, um, but you have to recognize what am I doing that is non-revenue producing activity. For me, I'll be honest, there's a lot going on in the world, mainstream media, and I have to keep my head head down, butt up, you know, because I get super distracted and I, I, I intensely focus on one thing. And so if, if something captures my attention, I want to dissect it and, and, and jump into it and, and really kind of, you know, get, get obsessed with it. So, you know, I have to remember where am I going today? I have to set those tasks, especially right now. So for me, I love to sign up for stuff, you know, what is your leader got going on? It, you know, um, we've got a lifestyle challenge group, you know, selfish plug here, um, lifestyle challenge group. And, um, you know, I just launched a five day little mini challenge. I show up for that group because, it's something that makes me show up. So what do you have that's making you show up? Well, I'm not on Lisa's team. I, I'm not in a push group. Okay, well, message or two under K and say, hey, I heard about this push group thing. Would this be something we could do? Is this something we can start? Um, sign up and show up. Offer. How can I participate? But don't get 
busy doing busy work. Um, if you do not go implement anything that you learn right here today from this Zoom, Ooh, I, I don't want to say you wasted your time because if it got you out of bed and got you up and got you going, well, then great. But you've got to do people are consumed with consumption of information. We are consumed with consuming the information, but we're not as excited with the implementation. And that is the critical part. That is what puts the money in the bank. That's what puts um, your new people on the leaderboard. That's what gets you going and gets you um, working in your target market for your 4K, 12K, 40K, 200K, okay? Um, Lisa, I don't know um, if you had somebody else that I wanna dominate the time, so. But no, I'm sure we'll, you'll think of more you wanna say anyways, and we'll, we'll swing back around. Um, Tiffany, what's up with you, girl? So I was kind of so entranced in what Chas was saying. What's the question? <laughs> I totally lost train of thought. If you have any, like, you know, and we're we're definitely going to dive into what Chas was just diving into, which is like, <laughs> I heard that so much in Florida this weekend. Um, how do I keep my team motivated? <laughs> I had so many people message me that. So we're going to get into that. But I didn't know if you have any personal tips of like, what you are doing and your team are doing to run after these bonuses. Like, I guess in the beginning phases, like for me, I've been like, you know, making lists and kind of reaching out. You know, I like what I did yesterday was I went through all the people that have ever messaged me about the business ever that have never joined me and just saying, look, I'm not trying to be creepy but I didn't wanna not let you know what's happening. If you're interested, great, let me know. If not, I, I just wanted to let you know, like no big deal, no hard feelings. So that's kind of like, I had a lot of those people. So I'm still continuing that today. Um, that was like my first line of business. And then um, my second line of business was kind of to, you know, make sure that what I'm not giving, getting away from is adding new people every day and being super active in the groups I'm in because I want people to see what I'm posting in my stories, especially. Um, but what kind of things are you guys are you guys doing? So first and foremost, I think you guys have to, if you're sitting there thinking, okay, this is totally unattainable, like I can't do this, that's where it needs to stop. Um, anything is possible, you guys, anything. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the first thing I had, um, my team do is on the IPA chart last week, I made a square that said, write on a post-it note, print it out, whatever you want to do. April 31st, what is your tracker going to say? What rank are you claiming? And I don't want you to shove that into like a drawer or anything. I want you to put that on your fridge. Okay. Because we all know we go to the fridge how many times a day. And if you see that rank right there, you are reminded multiple times a day where you are going, okay? Um, another thing that I kind of fell out of, but I think I'm gonna bring it back, is I make um, rank advancement charts. And what it is, is at the top, it says I am just like example, 4K, okay? On that chart, it is a printable chart that you put on your fridge, okay? There's increments of like $250. So when you hit 250, cross it off. Then you go to the next 250, cross it off. It is such a motivational thing. When I had them on the fridge, my husband would come home and he'd be like, okay, what'd you do today? And I'm like, do you see this house? Like it's spotless. He's like, okay, but what did you, like, what number are you at? And I'm like, boy, but he's right. He sees that my family sees that. And it really, really helps because it's like, you're checking your volume. Every time you do a personal sale, you get to you know, knock a number off. So I will work on that today um, and get those posted in all of the groups because they really do help. Um, yeah, Melissa, I'll share those. Um, and I think just knowing where you're going. Um, don't just say, well, I want 4K. I want 12K. You guys, you have to truly, truly believe that you are going to get it but you cannot just sit back and be like, well, I want 12K, but not do the busy work. That's the other thing is you have to show up every single day 
And I think a big thing is to stay plugged into everything. You cannot just, you know, kind of take a day, disappear, and then come back and expect to, you know. <laughs> so um, staying plugged in. Um, and what was the other thing? Oh, um, last bonus season, I did hit 40K. I was also very, very pregnant at the time. Um, I had uh, my daughter one month after I hit the rank advancement bonus. And I think this bonus season is something that I have been stressing to my downline. Listen to your body, you guys. You cannot be on your phone like hours on hours on hours. You need to listen to your body. And when your body's telling you, I need an hour, I need to go watch a movie with my kids, talk to your upline. Be like, I need an hour of sanity. That's totally fine. Take that time to plug in to your kids, plug into your husband, take time for yourself. Because I promise you, if you're just like, boom, 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 you're going to burn out and nothing good happens when you burn out. Um, but yeah, I think that's one of the biggest things that I'm doing this bonus season is I have my hours where I'm working, but then also dinner time, my phone's away. Lunch time with my girls, my phone's away and that's okay. Um, but like I said, don't take like a whole day off, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Just take those hours to where you can recharge yourself. Yeah, I think you have to recharge, like, <laughs> because this is going to be along for months. And if you are all day, every day, like I said, it's like team no sleep right now, like you can get burnt out and that's where you can lose motivation. <laughs> you can lose motivation that way. Um, so, hey, Brittany, I know you're on. Are you doing anything different? You guys, if you guys have not totally heard Brittany talk about her um, her bundles she does, her bundles are freaking awesome, you guys. And I think right now that's going to be huge, too, is having things, you know, this weekend when I was in Florida, I was listening to um, Brittany Strike say the same thing over and over and over and over again to the same people. And I'm like, why don't you just record that and send it so you don't have to keep saying it, the same thing over and over and over again. Like make, think of ways to make your life a little bit easier right now uh, so that you have like these go-tos because if you are super busy, especially if you do have some sort of a team under you, so you're trying to help them, plus you're trying to make sure you're doing your IPAs and growing your personal business, it, making your life easier right now is going to be something you're grateful for. You know what I mean? Some things that you can duplicate, you know, voice messages that you can make and send that way or all of that. So um, anything that we're, that you're doing different, Britt? So I'm a very green personality. So I had to take a step back and absorb it all and break it down for myself in order for me to relay it to my team. So the first thing that I did was, I was like, okay, so I need to do this. How is this going to happen? And then I pulled my downline. I saw who was working, who had never ordered, who signed and ran. You know what I'm saying? So I'm very big on, I know corporate sends emails, but I'm going to be honest with you, 90% of my downline doesn't read corporate emails. So I send my team emails every single month. And it's literally something you can mass email to your entire downline. So when this dropped, I processed it. I pulled everybody by what level they are. Had they ordered before? Had they hit 4K? Had they hit 12K? Are they still here? Did they disappear? What? And then I sent emails based on where they were. And I said, hey, like, look, this just dropped. You can run with it or you don't have to. And so far, five people have come back from that email. Um, what I did after that was one-on-one -on -one Zooms with Kaylee, me, and, and the people who are ready to run. And I have, once again, green personality. I have a sheet that I go over with every single person that talks about the operation winning, what they need to do, what's their 30-day PPA, 60-day PPA, what's their current rank, their highest rank, and what goal are they going for? So that's one thing that has really helped like the people who maybe came in and hit VIP and then did nothing. Or maybe the people that came in, ordered one time, and then ran away. I mean, hi, I was that person. I placed one order and then ran away for a year. So there is a chance that maybe they just got lost and they need that follow-up. So I think that's huge. Um, so that was one of the big things that I have done. 
Yeah. Don't forget about those people that started like and didn't do anything. Like I'm going to be messaging people like, hello, that's next on my list too, is just touching base with people that started before and being like, okay, I know you started before. It, it, now's, if you ever thought about jumping back in, now's the time, you know, now is that time to, to make it happen. Um, I kind of did want to get into the motivation factor of things and Chas kind of touched on it already but I you know I was thinking about how everybody's so excited right now because <laughs> it just was announced and then you know a month goes by and reality sets in and and we're like oh crap nothing's happening or it's not moving as fast as I thought it would or I already thought I would do x y and z and that hasn't happened and then we start to count ourselves out what you know who I, I guess I want to know your guys' thoughts on that because what I don't want anybody to do is count themselves out. I want them to realize that, look, it may take till the third month for things to start happening, but I've watched people skip one, two, three ranks in their first, in, in one month. I've watched people do more in the last day of the month than they did the whole month. So there's so many amazing things that can happen if you just stay focused and don't count yourself out. Um, anybody want to add on to that? Well, I, I want to, because I'm not following the rules, obviously. Um, I wanted to- You so follow it, girl. You yeah. could be a rule well, breaker. I, I, you Break know, the rule. Motivation, y'all. Um, I'm, I'm not the Brittany that has the list and the spreadsheet. I am the one that has the sticky notes and the notes like this, y'all. I'm a hot mess on um, the Thrive, correct? Okay. So one of the things that I'm, I am doing also is committing to during, especially during this time is that growth. Um, and I am giving my two cents that pays two cents. And that's just kind of a morning thing. So on my list, it's two cents. So for example, um, two cents, that equals a hundred percent a dollar. Now y'all, I, I barely graduated high school. So if my math is wrong, don't even send me a message this morning. Cause I ain't dealing with you. Okay. Mind your business. Okay. So two cents, um, that pays two cents would be 50 engagements for me. Um, so that means this morning I am hyper focused on commenting and engaging on Instagram and Facebook. And so that's, you know, two cents that pays two cents. Now that doesn't mean two cents that if I wanna um, comment on somebody's political post or um, something in life, or you know they, they're slamming their um, ex-husband or their job, or is that really paying me two cents? So I am being incredibly intentional with my 50 engagements in the morning and at night. So I'm doing my two cents in the morning and in the night. So that means I am commenting, engaging on Instagram. My growth is insane and it's all brand new people, all new people. And that is what I am doing right now on top of working my list. Like Lisa said, um, you know, I printed out my sponsorship download report. That was my first thing. I worked, you know, text messages, boom, 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 boom. Um, who replied, you know, who is in, who is out, um, you know, who's not working the business anymore or, you know, that those are those messages that I got out first. Now I'm going into my levels two, levels three, and then levels four, levels five, but I'm also continuing to grow my network by giving my two cents. Now, after I've done my morning two cents, I've done my morning post, I've done my morning engagement, I'm out. I am out of social media because I get stuck in the scroll hole and all of the junk. So for me, I have to log out of Facebook. I can still message. You guys can still reach me on Messenger. Every one of my leaders knows my phone number. So I can still there. Now, I'm not as bad. I don't know why on Instagram. I think because on Instagram, there's not so much get stuck for me. Um, so, but I'm doing a 21 day fast right now where I'm not doing social media, just scroll that sort of thing before noon anyway. So for me, that's being effective. And again, I signed up for that so that I could stay accountable during this time, staying focused on getting my mindset right, getting my day going and, and getting the things done that I need to throughout the day. So um, 
so yeah, I, I wanted to add my little tip in there uh, as far as, you know, what I was doing to continue to work that and being very intentional with cutting it off, y'all. Um, I don't know about you guys, but does anybody else get distracted? I mean, you see this post and you're like, squirrel, boom, boom, boom. Oh, she said what? Oh, no, girl. Oh, she, are they breaking up? Oh, what? They, you know, I mean, I'm like, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm all in everybody's business, y'all. And so for, you know, for me, I have to, I have to stay on track, on point, you know, I, it's super easy right now. I'm, I'm in, I'm in work mode right now. Boom, 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 boom. I literally jumped out of bed 10 minutes before the zoom. I, my alarm was set for 5. AM. Boop, boop, snooze, snooze, snooze. I'm telling y'all Monday is, is the struggle bus is real. Okay. So now I'm in work mode. I'm in work mode. I'm sending messages. I'm getting replies. Boom, boom. No, put that thing down. Chas. When I get off of here, my butt's going in the treadmill. Somebody send me a message. How's that workout going? Cause it gets real easy for me to be stuck in work mode right now, because that's where I'm at. I'm in my office. I'm in work mode. I see my sticky notes here. I see what I need to get done today. So no, my workout is just as important to me as working this business because of this mindset. My mindset has to be on point and game on or else I'm going to get funked out. So um, that's mine. I'll pass it along. Can I add something, Lisa? Yeah, something that I personally had to do because I, like Chas said, it's easy to get distracted. You're watching all these things. And I mean, honestly, 2020 was like the most distracting year of all time, I feel like. And so something that I did, and it's completely shifted everything. It shifted the way that I feel. It shifted the way that I show up for not only my family, but for my business, for my team and my audience even. And just sh it shifted how I work is when I get on my timeline or I'm interacting with people, if it's something that doesn't bring me joy, gone, unfollow, delete, gone. And if it's something that's distracting me, gone. I deleted my TikTok. I deleted Twitter. I deleted anything that wasn't moving me forward and was causing me to be distracted. And now I intentionally go into my friends list. I start with A, go to B the next day, go to C the next day, interact with people that way. Because if you're on the timeline, it's so easy for you to get sucked in and um, you might end up seeing tons of thrivers if you're friends with th thrivers. This is a way for you to sort through your friends list, be intentional with your time that you're spending on your social media. And if you come across somebody that's like, F this, F that, political this, political that, gone, gone. You don't want that on your team anyways, gone. <laughs> I, yeah, I want to interject, Megan. I love that because it is so true. Um, you know, Facebook, social media right now is a leads list for me. Um, you know, if I, if I need to execute my political rights, I need to vote. I need to do that there. Um, this right here, my social media is how can I create um, new business partners? I mean, it literally it has shifted. You know, we've talked about your social media is your storefront. It literally is, friends. I mean, this is now your time. I believe that our social spaces are resumes. You know, who are they? What are their likes, loves, and interests? Are they somebody that you want to bring in and build a business with? Um, that doesn't mean they're not different. They're all the same. Everybody that you bring into your business is the same, but we respect the differences and we can have conversation because you're going to get work with different people in this business. Everybody's going to be, I mean, you're, you, you hear it all the time. I'm red, I'm yellow, I'm blue, I'm green. I'm all these things. I'm different personalities and you have to learn to work and adjust you know some people are like don't tell me about the bonuses I need to stay focused on just taking my capsules thriving for free I you know and then some people are like I don't care what you're packaging and selling pooping the scooping whatever I'll sell it you know like I just need to make money whatever it is you know so you have to understand you're going to have so many different personalities in this business and I love what Megan said because for me I started TikTok and then I was like overwhelmed I'm like how do these people drop it like it's hot like this? Like I can't even, I drop it, but I can't get back up. And so I 
spent three hours trying to figure the give back up. And then I was like, Pat would come in and he's like, what are you doing? Is that income for Tuesday? I'm like, I'm de-stressing. I'm decompressing. He's like, BS. No, you're not. You're distracted. You're stuck. And I'm like, you're right. Cause I ain't ever going to drop it like that. And this ain't ever going to create revenue producing activity gone. Now that's just me. I was not being effective. If I need a decompressor or I need to stress, I need to get a hobby that's off of social media. I'm sorry, y'all. That's just the truth. Well, I'm young. I like social media. You get stuck in the trap. And I'm going to tell you, you're not going to build a multi-million dollar business like that. Get out, get a hobby, go run, go pick up sticks in the yard, go build a snowman, go find a hobby with your kids. Um, Go talk to the husband in the next room you had talked to in a month. Go do something else that is going to build your life, not just get stuck in somebody else's filtered fantasy life, okay? And I say that because that's what I see the most is people being distracted with fantasy land. This is not reality. They're posting that they're happy. They're great. Their life is awesome. No, they ain't. They're falling apart behind the filter. They're struggling with their energy. They're not cleaning their house. Uh, they do not look like that. If you ran into them in public, you'd be like, ah, who are you? Because they threw 78 filters on there and they slim trimmed and reduced everything. And their reality does not look like that. You need to get personal with people, not on a filter level. You need to go deep. You need to be finding out their hurts, their pains, their struggles. What do they need? And that right there is going to get you to your winning. That's what's winning for people is when they are telling you, here's my pain points. And you're going, I have a solution to your situation right here, sister. Let me sign you up. Amen. All of that. <laughs> All of that. Tev, you got anything you want to add? Yeah, I actually pulled um, while you guys were speaking, we had a training with John Eric back in um, October 2019 in Minnesota. And I have all my notes here. And every few months, you guys, because I have like, I don't know, eight, nine pages of notes. And this is pure gold. So I just kind of went through and picked up a few points that I kind of wanted to say. But first, I think I've already said it, but you guys, I was one of those people who I never thought that Zooms were, you know, important. Not even that they weren't important. It's just, I'd never seen the value of a Zoom until I started attending them. Before, I mean, I've been in this business for three years. Before I was attending Zooms, um, I was kind of in a field by myself, kicking rocks, asking them if they wanted to buy Thrive. Like I was just like, over by myself, you know? So once I started, you know, attending the Zooms, that's where my relationships were built. You guys, you see these people how many times a week you're building relationships. This is where you're getting your motivation. Like when you wake up to this tribe this morning and Wednesday morning and Friday morning, like it's hard to have a bad day. When you wake up with Lisa, you wake up with Chess or Brittany or, you know, Jamie, it's hard to have a bad day because your day is made by, you know, the first hour of your day. Um, but I wrote down a couple points just um, from the training and guys, we could do a whole freaking Zoom on this because it was pure freaking fire. The entire weekend, I think we slept maybe four hours. That man never stops. So um, one thing, and it's kind of going to be squirrel all over the place, but that's fine. That's how I am. Um, change your mindset. Instead of how can I get volume today? How can I change people's lives today? I promise you from when I switched that to, okay, how many sales can I get today? No. How many lives can I change today? Worry and truly care about your customers. Do not just see them as volume. Okay. Um, with that comes customer service. Um, you want to provide incredible customer service. I told this to my downline. I um, have a Lime Life uh, auto ship. Uh, my Lime Life girl has not talked to me in 
probably a good three months. So I canceled my auto ship because it's like, and it really opened my eyes. I was like, wow, we really need to follow up with our customers. Like we cannot just sign them and drop them. You need to follow up. And I know a lot of people are like, well, I don't want to bug you guys. It's not bugging them when you genuinely have their interest at heart. Okay. Um, how to stay motivated, celebrate the small successes. Okay. Every single thing can be celebrated, whether it's a mini experience, dude, celebrate the hell out of that. You have product in somebody's hands, celebrate the hell out of every little tiny thing. Um, redefined the word sales instead of, you know, making a sale, it's transferring belief from you to somebody else. Okay, um, and this is a big one, action over activity. And Megan and Chas kind of touched a little bit on this and you kind of have to look at your day and see what you are doing. Are you doing action or are you doing activity? Because I can get lost in the scroll, it's bad, I do. So this is where I have to focus. 80% of my day should be action, action, commenting on post. Do not just comment, make a conversation. Okay. That was another tip. When you have a post, do not just, you know, comment back, reply with a heart or whatever. Create a conversation, you guys. Um, the action, get in people's messenger, reply to stories, um, you know, do your post. But the activity, which is the scrolling, which is, you know, TikTok scrolling, which I get lost in that too, but that should only be 20% of your day. Okay. And by your day, your social media time, um, you want the quality of post over the quantity. Now, this is kind of crazy, you guys, because my stories, not going to lie, I usually get 50 to 70. I started posting my trips to Target and my, <laughs> my like, should I get this? Should I not? My story was over 200 yesterday. Like it is freaking insane. But what did I change? I changed the way that I was posting in my stories, but I also cut back on my posting on my timeline. That I feel like is a big thing because people post, post, post all day. Um, I used to do three times a day solid, we're good. Um, I cut back to one or two and my story views have been insane. Um, and the last thing I kind of had from this training, people don't care about our products. They care about a future version of themselves. So when you are making a post, do not just post about the products, post about what the products are doing for you because it could be, you know, a stay at home mom who's freaking exhausted losing her mind with these kids that are hanging off the curtains. Like, <laughs> that's my life. <laughs> I mean, so I post to that mom. So that's kind of all that I had for that. Hey, Lisa. Yeah. Real quick, I don't, I don't want to take a lot of time with this, but I, um, tip make kind of spark something with me as far as like, um, we have to remember customer service. This is something that I'm getting a lot of messages on. So if you've been with us for a minute, um, or if you are in any of our, um, well, I, I wouldn't even say just um, international shipping. We've had some issues, guys. Let's just be real. I have a Christmas gift that has not arrived yet. And um, I'll tell you the reason this, this particular vendor has given me an out several times. If you want to cancel, if you want to cancel. The only reason I haven't canceled this large order is because she's keeping me updated. She's letting me know here's what's going on. I am getting a lot of complaining, a lot of people saying, "Where this isn't shipped. Y'all, I waited for thirst for like four weeks. I was like, what's happening here? Um, but I have to remember that a lot of these things are beyond LaBelle's control. Um, I worked in corporate America. I worked in logistics. You know, people are like, well, when we shipped FedEx, it was working. When we shipped DHL, it was working. Or, you know, it is, if you have a contract, if you are a corporate carrier of products, you can't just say, oh, I'm, I'm not going to UPS today. I'm going to go to USPS. And you don't just like decide where you're going to ship. Shipping and logistics is a process that's already put in place. So for them to say, 
you know, FedEx was working last month. Let's just change that on the fly. It takes time. It takes, you know, they're, they're contracted. We're going to do this much business with you, that sort of thing. So we have to remember that we have to also be customer support. We have to find out what can we do? Hey, you know what, Brittany, I see that you ordered your product and I girl, I see it's still um, not arrived yet. I am so sorry. This is a crazy time that we're in right now. What can I do? Um, can I get some product to you? And then Brittany, you know um, what, you know, I've got $10 in credits. Well, how can I help you? Oh my gosh. You know, Lisa, I, um, I had this customer, this new customer, Brittany, and she has been waiting on her product for two weeks. Um, I legit, all I have is a, a half a pack of patches. Um, can you help me as my leader, help me get some, um, at least capsules out? And hey, Chas, I've already asked Lisa, um, all I had was some capsules and she's gonna help me with a couple of days of, um, you know, patches or whatever, I'm just messing it up. Um, do you have a couple of days of shake that, you know, together that we can um, make three days of samples for her? Or, um, you know, I did a BOGO and I've got some, um, you know, I've got some extra DFT sitting on the shelf I, I would love to send this to you. And I know that this is not, I've been doing this for seven years. And in seven years, I've seen this maybe three times. Um, how can I keep this? How can I keep you as a customer? I have to let that customer know that she matters um, because they will cancel. They will go away. We're spending more time on the griping and complaining about the, the, the shipment than we are finding a solution. Um, so I wanted to throw that out there as let's work together to get through this time. Let's let's be proactive and not reactive. And I know some of you are like, hey, I'm brand new. I hey, okay. It takes a simple reach up to your leader and say, what can I do? Now, don't message me and say, hey, can you send my person 30 days of product? Because it's, you know, shipping sucks and blah, 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 blah. No, what can you do to help? Okay, you're gonna send out the email, you're gonna send out the message. Okay, I'll send product, you're gonna do the legwork. So let's figure out a plan to keep these customers and keep people happy. Um, that is super, super critical right now. I have been getting messages after messages from vendors. Here's a situation here. And I'm like, no, I'm not gonna cancel that. I'm gonna keep it going because I wanna keep them in business. So I wanted to interject that, Lisa. And I kind of have something to add on to that. Um, I, I have a customer who lives like 30 minutes from me. She messaged me, her auto ship ran the 25th of December, okay? She lives off of Black Label. She messaged me. She says, my auto ship's not here yet. I can barely walk. And she's a realtor. So she has to be up and around. I said, girl, I got Black Labels. Get. She was down the road showing a house. I'm like, stop. I will give you the Black Labels. So you need to take care of your customers. Do not just ignore them because their shipment has not arrived yet. Um, something else that I am personally doing, writing a thank you note. Acknowledge the fact that shipping is taking longer throw a couple recharge in there, throw a couple ultras, you know, blast, boost, whatever you want to do, appreciate your customers and acknowledge the fact that it's taking longer. And it's not just us. Um, my aunt works for the postal service and she's like, this is a nightmare. You guys think we have it bad? Holy bananas. It's bad. <laughs> so I think just acknowledge the fact that you know, it is taking longer, but appreciate your customers and make sure that you're taking care of them. Hey, Brittany, did you have anything you wanted to add to the conversation? Pretty much all of that. Make sure you're following up with them. Um, go into your back office. If somebody's shipment is still on hold, just reach up, reach out. Um, that's why we get credits every month. That's why we get our product for free so that when things happen beyond our control, we can fix it without having to go to corporate, without having to go to our upline. If you need to go to your upline, obviously do that. And, and my team will come to me and, like, and say, Brittany, can I have 10 credits? And I'm, if it's logical, then yes, I will give your customer 10 credits. If it's you just complaining, no, I'm not going to. But that's why you have an entire support system so that we can help when there are situations like this, reach up, reach out. There's always someone willing to help you. Um, but you also have to remember we're in a freaking pandemic. Christmas just got over. Elections just got over. It is banana sacks at USPS, UPS, FedEx, all of them. 
everything is behind. Amazon Prime is no longer Amazon Prime. I ordered my dog food that normally comes in two days, two weeks ago. That shit still ain't here. So homegirl over here is eating dog food she don't like. But it's like that everywhere. It's not just us. So just be smart with your stuff. And one thing that, you know, people are talking about shipping, I I just want to interject this. Remember, you've got to do market research. What are your people talking about? So if this is a pain point that you're experiencing in your business, talk about this on Facebook. Um, Oh my gosh, I've got a Christmas gift that's just going to arrive. And I, you know, I, when that arrives, I'm going to be like, Merry Christmas. You know, I'm going to talk about those things that are a global situation that are affecting my business too. That way my customers, my promoters, people see that, hey, this is a, a larger issue than just Lavelle. It's so crazy how people want to peg point and, you know, point those fingers. And, and I love that, that, you know, Brittany, you know, Hey, talk about that. Oh my gosh, homegirls, you know, like maybe a cute picture of your puppy. People love animals, like craziness. You know, she's not happy. Her shipping is not arriving. Talk about that. Those are the things that people are talking about. I promise you, your people that are following you and needing to engage engage with, they're going to say, girl, I haven't got my blah, blah, blah. Oh my gosh, I got prime. That's conversation starters. Talk about those things, those pain points that you have in your business. And that way it is something that's on the forefront of people's minds. And just real quick, my dogs are on Bully Make Auto Ship. So they get those little fun boxes every single month. We're still waiting for November's box. So there are, it's it's not just us, it's everywhere. Um, so you just have to keep that in the forefront of your mind. Let me tell you, they know when their shipment's supposed to get here and they still haven't got November's or December's yet. Okay, so they're being a little attitude. Dog, I don't want my dogs to hear you because they're going to want to move in with you. My dogs don't get a funsy boxy. Um, um, I have three dogs. I'm going to go order a box. What do they need? They need some boxes to come in. Bully make. That's what they need. Well, you have small dogs. You don't need bully make. Yours don't have huge mouths. (laughs) I have a big one. I have a big Lexi. Yeah. So bully make. Yeah. They need to get something, something delivered. They love it. Like awesome. Yeah. As soon as they is, it's like a bright orange box. And as soon as it's sitting on their, on our front porch, our dogs are like, that's ours. (laughs) So let me go around really quick before we end today um, and close out and pick a winner and all that. What is your best answer to this question? How do I motivate my team? The easy answer, you don't. I don't mean that mean, but you can't make somebody be motivated. Motivate yourself, leave from the front. When they see your motivation, you working your ass off nine times out of 10, they want that too. Anybody else have any uh, chats or uh, <laughs> Tiff, you have yes. any? Yeah, I, I said same. So what Brittany said, saying, oh, okay. you, you know, if I'm doing something, my leaders start getting fired. I mean, it's like, you know, like I shared the other day when we had that launch with, you know, LaBelle sent their, you know, did their call. You were like, let's do a 911 call tomorrow. And then Amber, they, it was like, the bot was like, boom, 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 right hook, left hook, left. I mean, it's like, Brrr. I mean, everybody wanted to do something. I'm like, everybody's overwhelmed. It's okay. We were just doing, and that's okay. That's what happens. Your team starts to, I, I'm going to get messages from 200 K's Lita, Lisa, that Lita, good morning, Lita, um, Lisa, that are like, Hey, um, Lisa's that I heard someone heard a push group thing and they're going to be all pissed because they have to work. But you know what? That's the motivation is uh, FOMO. People feel like they're going to miss out on something. So do something. So they feel like they're missing out on something. Sorry, I had to go grab a kid. Um, so something that I seen when I was scrolling over this uh, notes, he said, how to motivate your team. You have to tell them, I will help you chase your dream. I will not do it for you. So I think that's something that I, the biggest pill I had to swallow this time around um, is I want it sometimes worse than they do. So you can motivate them you can do your part, but if they're not going to do their part, you can't, you can't drag a dead horse. Amen. I mean, here's the deal, you guys. 
I have been doing this for a long time. And the one thing I've learned is there is no magic. There's no way to motivate. Sorry, you guys, my dogs are messing with everything right now. Come on, come on. You know, it's all about that. The fact of the matter is, is that you're going to get that all the time, or you're going to get people saying to you, sorry about that. I'm back. You guys, my daughter's back in school. So as you guys are talking, I'm like helping her get stuff ready, chasing the dogs around. Okay. You know, what I want to say about motivation is this, is it is fleeting. And I think sometimes people are waiting for something to motivate them. And Thank for a lot so of you guys, what motivated you was, um, honestly, what motivated you was when um, Lavelle made this announcement, right? And there's some of you that you've been with us for like four years and you only are motivated when they announce a bonus. And the problem is, is, and I tell people this all the time, is, is the likelihood of you ever get, getting a bonus is slim because you aren't motivated in between. <laughs> and if you're not motivated in between, you're always starting over. And so you have to, all, you have to find that thing that motivates you. For me, all I have to do is think about going back to waiting tables 70 hours a week. All I have to do is thinking about my whole family crawling in our side door of the car, the only door that opened with no air conditioning and 300,000 miles on it. It was embarrassing. Like all I have to do is think about going back to that and I get my butt out of bed even when I don't want to. And I get on a Zoom at 5 a.m. Like find that thing for you and just know that no one can motivate you. And even if Lavelle never announced another bonus in the history of Lavelle, what we already have is a game changer. It's changing people's lives with or without bonuses. And it's like, you know, Jason said it on that call. If, if you're not motivated by what we already have, and then now we have this, like, I'm not quite sure what would do it. I'm like, at this point, I don't know what would do it. And so that's what I would think about is, you guys, you may not hit this bonus. You may not hit any of these bonuses, but there will be more. There always are. So get consistent now. If this was the thing that motivated you because you see what Lavelle is capable of, and trust me, I'm sure they'll do it again at some point. You don't even know if they'll extend it. You don't know if in January they say we'll do a re-rank. You don't know. You seriously don't know what's coming. Be prepared for the next one. Maybe it's not this one. Maybe it wasn't your time. You know, I have so many people in my um, inbox saying, oh my gosh, Lisa, all that time, all I wanted to do was go 12K. And now I, I didn't go because it wasn't my time. And now I'm going to get this $12,000 bonus. Like you guys, it may not be your time right now, but if you get consistent now and you start doing all the right things, I can promise you this. When we get to the end of April, you're going to be farther along than you were today. And you're going to be even closer to the next time they announce a bonus. Like at some point you will hit your stride and you will hit your bonus when you're supposed to, maybe not this time, but the next time, but it's never going to happen unless you start getting consistent now and know that motivation is something that is going to come and go. Right. I'm not, it's been 10 years. You guys, if you guys think that I wake up every day going, yes, let's do this. There's times I don't want to do this at all. Like, I'm just like, I want to quit. <laughs> I'm done. But guess what? All I do is go back to that and I get out of bed and I start. It's kind of like if you go to the gym, right? You, New Year's, you're all excited. You set a goal. I'm going to go to the gym every day. And, and I work at six. So I'm going to have to go to the, get up at 4 a.m. And so for the first two weeks, you get up at 4 a.m. You're super pumped. Well, then two weeks later, you step on the scale. Two pounds are gone. And you're kind of like, uh. So the next day you wake up in the morning, the alarm goes off and you're like, well, maybe I could just push snooze this one time. I just don't really feel like getting up at four, right? The motivation is fleeting, right? Because you're not seeing results quick enough or, you know, it's not happening the way you thought it was going to, or it could be happening the way you thought it to, but you're just losing that motivation to get up at 4 a.m. because that's early. And, and you're thinking about, I could sleep one more hour. Oh, today won't matter. I'll just skip today. And then it goes to the next day. And then all of a sudden it's been a whole week because once you get out of the routine, there is no habit created. And now suddenly you are back to who you were in 2020. 
It's the same thing with this business. You are going to not want to do this. You're going to not want a cold message. You're going to want to not go live. You're going to want to not get on the Zoom. You're going to want to, you're going to have those days and you have to make yourself. And you know what happens? Just like when you make yourself go to the gym, right? You didn't want to get up at four. You didn't want to do it, but you did it. You made yourself do it, right? Because you thought about the end goal. You thought about, I got to get in those jeans. Or, I got to be in a bathing suit before Cabo or whatever. So you made yourself do it. And what happens, you guys? You get to the gym, you start working out and you're like, man, I'm starting to get motivated. And then after the gym, you feel good the rest of the day because you made that decision. You weren't motivated to do it in the first place, but you pushed yourself to do it. You made yourself do it anyways and you got motivated. That is what will happen in this business. I was not motivated to get on this Zoom this morning. I almost just started falling asleep. I have not slept in 48 hours. And I was like, crap, I don't wanna do it. I could just, you know what? I'll just message Chas. Chess will take it over. She's amazing. Like, who cares? Right? Nope. I got my butt up and I got on. And you know what? Now I'm like, yes, I'm all like, glad I got on. That is what it's going to be for you. And if you don't start now, this time, this bonus, whether you get it or not, you're never going to start and you're never going to be in place to ever get a bonus, whether it's this time, next time, the next time, or the next time. You guys, businesses take time to grow five to seven year plan. And if you get consistent now, I guarantee you, you will hit a bonus at some point. You will hit your stride, but it's never going to happen if you keep quitting and starting, quitting and starting, quitting and starting. Oh, I'm excited because there's a bonus. Oh, the bonus is over. So I think I'm just going to sit here and nap again. Oh, there's a bonus again. Dude, this is why you're not getting anywhere. You've got to see the bigger picture and you've got to understand that motivation is fleeting just with everything else in life you're not always going to be motivated to do it there may be months where you're not motivated to do it but you do it anyways and you think of the alternative with that said i want to show you guys something real quick um if you guys don't know we have morning show gifts um check out this how cute is this you guys i loved this so i had to get it um one small positive thought in the morning can change your entire day, your whole day. How cute is this to hang up and sit on your desk? So if you're chosen as a winner, you can either choose this or punch today in the face coffee cup. Or y'all know I had to get something that represents me because anybody that knows me, once you become my friend, I call you one of my bitches. Okay. You may not like that, but if you know me and you've ever been anywhere with me by the end, I'm, by the end of the time I'm with you, I'm like, what's up my bitches. Um, so I had to get this coffee cup because it's bomb. Good morning, bitches. Um, so, or you can choose this or we have t-shirts coming. They're already ordered. Um, and they're, they say, um, the vibe tribe vibes tribe. Um, and there's like a little sunshine, a rainbow. Hey, so I want yeah. one of those. I, I, how do I get one? Dude, I'm going to send you one. And what? then, or this bracelet is the cutest bracelet ever, or you can choose the bracelet or you can choose the journal. Like you guys, we got so many goodies. Like you want to choose one of these things? Yeah, y'all want it, don't you? And this bracelet is so cute. It says, wake up, kick ass and repeat. Yeah, so get on the morning show. You you you'll get picked as winners one morning. I know you will. Um, so that's your little morning show gift choices. Before I pick the winner, I know we're going over a little bit today, but hey, you know what? So what? Um, stay on if you want to be picked as a winner. Um, hey, Tiff, I are you reading us today? If you guys are just joining us in the morning, we end out every single morning with a book called 100 Days to Brave. And um, this book is amazing. And what it is, is we uh, read a little snippet of that book. And then at the end of every day, there's a challenge oh. for you guys to go into your daily. Um, so with that said, I think we're on day 18. Yes, we are. Oh my God, I guessed it right. Yay. Um, and Tiff, I know you have a baby in your hand. I need to just get the dang book i have it on audible but not on not in my hands yeah so we have a special guest so if you hear her i apologize it is yeah. what it is today oh thank you okay so day 18 pray yes. yeah sorry um last friday i read day 16 we're on day 17 today just kidding we're on day 17 <laughs> oh, sorry. okay Oops. all right thank you
I love her. All right. Day 17. Dig into the word for yourself. Every part of scripture is God breathed and used one way or another, showing us truth, Expose, uh, exposing our rebellion, correcting our mistakes, training us to live God's way. Through the word, we are put together and shaped up for the task that God has for us. That's 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17. Okay, what, what do we got going on here? Okay, you want a permanent marker? I'll deal with it later. <laughs> I became a Christian when I was five, so the Bible has always been a part of my reading life. I know, baby. Um, where was I? I am thankful that as long as I have known how to read, I have had the Bible, but I haven't always enjoyed reading it. To be honest, parts of it can bore me. Lists, laws, and everything that my brain doesn't quite understand. But as the years have gone by, I have grown to see the Bible for what it really is. A collection of stories with people just like us, life lessons and page after page um, describing God, the God we love and serve. If you set out to read your Bible as if it is something you have to do, you will miss out on the supernatural power it can have in your life. The Bible is God's way of communicating with you, of letting you in on who he is. The Holy Spirit uses his word to show us the truth Convict us, correct us, and train us. The Bible isn't boring. I think it just lists or rules. Hold on, guys, sorry. Or just a bunch of stories that are hard to understand. It is a record of who God is and the story of his great love for his people. And that's just us. The more you dig into the word for yourself, okay, the more you will hunger for it. The more you read the Bible, the more you will know God. The Bible is your best resource when you want to hear from God. There, in black and white, and sometimes red, are God-inspired words for you. Don't rely on your pastor, podcast, or even a Christian author to read a few verses here and there. Dig into the word for yourself and enjoy this gift God has given you. Total to act total access to who he is and total knowledge of how he feels about you today's task is be brave check out shereadstruth.com or he reads truth.com they offer lots of plans and resources to help you learn and read the bible on a regular basis i love it what can what can we learn from just watching tiff um just um interact right now like that's how life is y'all i don't know about you guys but i don't have a little on my hip but that's how i feel like life is social media the distractions the world and she just kept pressing forward this is a critical part of our morning zoom this part and she didn't say she could have said shannon i see that it's quiet there could you go ahead and read for me this morning no she kept pushing through and so that is a lesson for us to know that we've got to and Tiffany, I would just say, don't ever apologize for, for that baby, because what you are right now is for the mamas. I know Chrissy's on here right now and she's got a newborn baby and, you know, she's probably seeing you going like, heck girl, like if you can do this, I can do this, you know? So just know that your truth is inspiring someone. So sorry, Lisa, I just wanted to, I, like, I was inspired by that so much. I know you, that's the thing is no excuses, guys. I love it. Okay, um, this morning's winner, Sarah Conkel. Sarah Conkel, you just won whatever you want. You pick, girlfriend. Um, if you want to um, think about it for a minute, go ahead. I just need to get your um, address um, and then what you want. So whoever your upline is, or you can message me or any of the ladies on here, um, get that to me. Okay, thank you guys. Um, actually, I've already picked. I really like the cup. Which one? Uh, right? Puns today in the face or good morning, bitches? What was that? Puns today in the face or good morning, bitches? <laughs> good morning, today in the face. Okay. So that's what we're doing today. We got you. You can drink coffee in the morning or actually you won't need your coffee. You can put your shake in here. Um, that's it, guys. We'll see you guys Wednesday. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, good luck. 
don't give up, keep pushing forward. And remember motivation, you, that's what you create. You create your motivation and I believe in you guys. Let's do the dang thing. Love you guys. Thank you to everybody for this morning. I appreciate you. Um, and Wednesday's hosts are awesome. Don't forget to be on. Share the link. Bye, guys.